guys and girls, my name's Dan, welcome back to The Forge. In today's episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, we're going to be making this into a hammer. Just a little bit of backstory before we move on with the video. This was a custom order uh, from a guy called Luke based up in Perth in Scotland. Uh, he's a stonemason uh, and they specialise in drove stone walling. They're doing some particular job, they wanted this hammer for it and uh, this is it basically. Um, I'm super stoked with it, it came out really nicely. Enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. That's it, lift him up, that's it. Oh god. I'm in step. In you go my nub. Don't get too big and pop. That just fits. This game sometimes. <laughs> tool in for the hammer we're going to be trying some of this A33 Flutagon. This was gifted to me uh, by Paul Beesler. Thank you very much Paul, hopefully I said your surname right. Um, his Instagram is listed in the description so please go and check out his Instagram, say hello and send him some love because uh, he's, uh, well, he's not lent me anything, he's given me uh, this material to play around with and this is a perfect opportunity to test it. So I'm going to get my boy Elliot to forge this round or forge some of it round and then we're going to draw it into a short taper and that's gonna be our punch to put our hole in our massive bit of steel. drilled all the way through I'm quite happy as well it was quite accurate um, so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna get this in the gas forge get this nice and hot and then I'll grab the tools we made they're really rough I will tidy these up at a later date but these were the uh, punch drifty thing that you will have seen Elliot doing just now but we're gonna drop these in open this hole up until we can drop this one in that's that end off there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to stretch the eye nicely Yeah. 
enjoying the video if you are hit the like and subscribe button that really does help the channel uh, but what I would like to talk about just quickly before we move on to the heat treating is the C45 that we use for this project now C45 is a medium carbon steel it's very commonly used for making hammers it's about 0.45 percent carbon it's a basic carbon steel basically um, and it's something that I sell over on my Etsy and on uh, my website now I sell it in billets for hammers projects I sell a C45 and I sell a 4140 I also sell a 4130 as well and I will be getting some H13 so if you're interested in finding materials for your blacksmithing projects everything from punches to drifts to hammers and all that good stuff go over there check that out I also make tools like uh, this hammer I make blacksmith helpers and I sell kits for the helpers as well so you can put them together at home that also really helps the channel there's a link to all that down in the description so check that out enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you at the end okay this is now on forge looking really tidy really really happy with how we managed to get the shape in and everything um, and it's fairly good for dimensions and stuff I don't think these boys are going to be swinging this I think they're actually going to be hitting this end and holding it on the rock um, to split stuff up but uh, yeah pretty happy pretty good everything went pretty tidy um, so next job to do chop this end off I think I'm going to chop this end off as well in the saw and then we can grind it up and then we can look at doing a little bit of after forging if we need to do it and touch mark and all that stuff and then we can heat treat it uh, and then yeah go on from there. All ground up and I'm pretty pleased with it. It's really heavy, um, but bladed end on. I've done a bit of detailing on it just to sort of uh, make it look a bit more interesting. We'll put touch mark in and heat treat it. Um, I just want to quickly talk about that heat treating and why I'm going to be using salt. Okay, heat treating. Uh, this is quite a large object and I'm worried that because of its size, it's going to reheat treat it, reheat treat itself, soften itself off as it cools down, um, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. To overcome this, I'm going to try a salt solution. Now I'm adding salt to the water. Uh, I might add some washing up liquid as well. 
uh, Luke's nodding his head from the side, um, because it improves the conductivity of the water uh, and I'm hoping it's going to cool it down quicker. But we will see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Right, let's get this in the fire then. Okay, so heat treated, um, and I. It's gone hard, it's definitely harder than it was, um, but I'm still, certain points, able to just catch it with the file. So it's, it's definitely hardened um, because, well, just a bit of mild steel now. So this is the design to cut rock, and this is just a bit of mild steel. So. Just under its own weight, it's marked that quite nicely, and I think the edge is in pretty good nick, it's still quite sharp. So I think we've got it, but I think it could be a touch harder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this end into the fire on the forge, and just going to start warming this end up, and then we're going to quench it. And I'm hoping what's going to end up happening then is we should have a relatively hard object with a really hard end, um, and then I can um, temper it back. No change, um, it is still the same hardness, I think. Uh, where's the file gone? So, which is a bit annoying. It's still biting a little bit. I need to get myself some files, really. Uh, and you can see back here some temper colours. That might have been from when we were heating before. Um, but what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna, this is still quite hot, this bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this in the fire, this end in. I'm going to push a little bit of heat through and just get some temper colours on here. Straw. Um, I think this is going to be nice and sharp. It's still, it's still cutting into the, um, the mild steel. So I think this is going to be perfectly fine for the job. I'll talk to the customer.
this was an actual commission. This is actually going to a customer. And if you guys at home have any ideas about commissions or ideas for projects that you'd like me to undertake, why not send me an email? There's a link to my email down in the description. Ping one over to me and um, I'll see what I can do. We can have a chat about it. 27 pound cut test number one. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't get any footage of Alex Morn making the uh, little leather guard for this. He's done an amazing job, so thank you so much to Alex. He's got a link in the description to his Instagram. Please go and check him out. He makes belts. Uh, he does some really lovely stuff, so go and check him out as well. Uh, we will be making a video together very soon of us making the belts. But um, another massive thank you to uh, Paul Bees, no, I hope I've got you right. He supplied us with the uh, A33. I'm not sure if I thanked him already, but hopefully I have. Um, a link to his Instagram is in the description. A thank you to Elliot, Matthew, and Luke as well. Uh, they are also uh, students that come up here and they've helped actually make this. I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you so much for your help. Links to their Instagram in the description. Please go and check them out, give them some love. Uh, that's all the thank yous for this video, so I'm gonna probably wrap it up now. And that, as they say, is that. I've really, really enjoyed making this. And now the next task is how the hell am I gonna get it to Scotland? Um, we will cover, try and work that out soon. Um, the, the object is used to split stone. I'm gonna try and get um, the lovely Luke, the guy who bought it, to uh, get a video back to me of him using it. Hopefully we can do that. And then I'll put another video up of him using it and we'll talk a little bit about how he uses it and stuff like that. So hopefully that works well. Thank you for joining me. Please leave a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, there's a link in the description to the website, email and all that good stuff. Please go and check that out. Uh, great way to support the channel. The likes really help. Leave a comment, do all that good stuff. And that's it. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, wow, this is.